Hey friend, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create base tab from standard notation using NoteFlight. So I've logged into my free account here. Just to FYI, with the free accounts, you only get a total of 10 scores. We're going to talk about how to deal with that in just a moment. But for right now, we're going to create a base tab. And so we're going to start from scratch. And what we're going to do is go to the Create tab hit create and it's going to give us a few options start from a blank uh, score sheet that sounds fine we'll do that it's going to give us uh, just a staff here grand staff um, it's going to ask you if you want MIDI to control your devices you can block allow do whatever you want there it doesn't matter for our purposes first thing we're going to want to do is go to the parts section click on parts and click on add Part. We're going to first need to add our standard notation, so we'll go to Plucked Strings, select Electric Bass, and click OK. That's going to give us an electric bass part in standard notation with the bass staff. And we're going to go and add a part, go back to Plucked Strings, click on Electric Bass Tab, and click OK. So now we have the bass standard notation, the bass tab. We can come up to this piano and just delete that. We won't be needing that. You may want to give your piece a title, whatever you want to title your piece. And then, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is set the time signature and the key signature for the whole piece. So just uh, select anywhere inside one of the measures. Uh, Command A if you're on a Mac. I'm not sure what you do on a PC, um, but you're going to select all of your measures. Then you're going to go over to Palettes, select Palettes, and select Measure. Just mouse over it. Over Measure, you're going to find these two options, Change Time Signature, Change Key Signature. Okay, so for example, let's say for example we're in the key of B flat, then we'd come over here and select B flat. Okay, now we've changed the key signature. Uh, for this uh, example, I'm just going to stay in 4-4 time, but if we did want to change the time signature, you could just change that here. You can even add a pickup measure to your score, what have you. All right, so we got our time signature and our key signature. Now, first thing we need to do is enter the notes. So we're going to click inside here, inside this first measure, and just start entering our notes. So say, for example, we want to, I'm just going to put in four quarter notes. And this is not a video so much on how to put in notation, so I'm not going to necessarily talk about how to add quarter notes, half notes, and change all of that. Uh, but I will say this cool little feature is if you just highlight the measure and click the letter R, it will just repeat automatically. And then if you, it will do that with however many measures you highlight. So I've got two measures. I repeat that, and now voila, I've got four measures of notation. Now, assuming this is exactly how I want my piece to go, then what I'll do is I'll just uh, click and highlight all of the measures that I want to copy, and then I will copy them, and then I will go ahead and highlight the measures that I want to paste that to in the base tab, and then just paste, and voila. Wow, I like to say voila a lot, don't I? Now, it's pasted, um, sort of the uh, kind of the open position, the most basic way that um, you could play these different notes. But let's say, for example, you want to change the tablature. So what you could do, so for example, it's saying to play this uh, note D, it's saying to play it on the open D string. Okay. Well, let's say, for example, I don't want to play it there. Maybe I want to play it somewhere else. So I'll just highlight the note. And uh, on a Mac, again, I'm not sure what to do on a PC, but on the Mac, you do Command, and then the arrow down, and it'll just change it to the next fret down. I could keep going. I could play it on the 10th fret if I wanted. So let's say, for example, I've made that change. Now I want to make it on all of these other ones. Again, I can just highlight it and hit R and it'll repeat that change across the board. 
So that's how you get the tablature in. Now let's say, for example, you don't want, um, so this is the note, uh, like the notation values. These lines here are representing quarter notes. If I changed that, um, here's the unfortunate thing with this program right now. If you change something in the notation, say for example, I change this from a quarter note to a half note, it doesn't make the change down below. So I would have to copy that measure again, paste it down below. And then it's changed my how I want to represent my tablature. It's all good. But uh, if you want to get rid of these uh, lines down here to, that represent the note values, you can come up to Formatting and deselect where it says Show Guitar tab rhythm. Just click deselect that and voila it goes away. Oh there's my voila again. So we're going to show it because the other thing that we can do, let's go back to parts and let's deselect. Now that I've got my tab let's say well I don't really want to see the notation so what I can do is just deselect the electric bass and now it's showing just my tab. So if I want just tab showing it, I might want the notation values um, showing down below. It's up to you. You have options. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, with Note Flight, you only, with the free version, you only get 10 free scores. So what I highly recommend doing is exporting the file as an XML file. And here's how you do that. Uh, oh, I've got to make sure you stop before you go back to palettes and select score and score there's an option for export um, if you need a, a version for uh, to print for PDF or just to save to your computer as a PDF you can certainly do that here um, but there's also uh, XML um, I'm not honestly really sure the difference between compressed or just regular. I always choose the standard music XML score. So you would uh, click that, select continue, and it's just going to save that as a data file on your computer. And the reason this is important is because then what you can do is you can delete the file uh, or delete the file from your uh, NoteFlight account but still have a copy of the XML file on your computer. Um, make sure you have a copy of the XML score so you can import that into any other program and it'll read it uh, perfectly. So there you have how to create a base tab directly from standard notation and note flight. Hope you found this helpful.